Hello everyone, this is Jay Dobbins of the Marvel DC Multiverse, and I'll be doing a trailer reaction to the official Black Adam trailer. So get ready. Smasher, Dr. Fate, Franklin. <laughs> what the heck? What kind of rocket is that? Wow. So, this part right here, I'm guessing, you know, that missile probably had something to do with that, you know, him being in his, you know, his slave clothing or whatever. Look like they're trying to read his vinyl, you know. I guess they're trying to study him, see what he is. And of course, you got Dr. Fate. You kill the son. I'm pretty sure he got vengeance off of that. And of course, this is what we saw in the teaser, but the, except for this part right here. Yeah, he killed the son. I'm guessing that's what's, what caused him to gain this power. Of the gods, I guess. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's like, now nah, I bow, I bow before nobody, or I kneel before no one. I was like, I know that's right. So yeah, flight, super strength, invulnerability, lightning. Yeah, I wouldn't say Superman would have his work cut out for him, but yeah. Black Adam would definitely be a huge challenge for Superman. That's gonna that's gonna be the showdown of a of the DCEU for sure. Then of course you got Hawkman. And he's telling he's like, oh super oh you got Ab Smasher, Doctor Fate, and of course you got Cyclone. Don't know where this takes place. I don't know when it takes place, but obviously it takes place during. I guess before and during the events of Shazam, um, I have to assume that that's uh, Black Adam. That's what it looks like. 
So yeah, he's like, oh, heroes don't keep, you know, don't kill people. And he's like, well, I do. So let me rewind that back. That sounds like something Red Hood would say. Be like Batman, don't kill people. He's like, but I do. So he you know, obviously he ain't, ain't like everybody else, of course. Then you got Eldest Hodge, Hawkman here. Yeah, before I saw the one of the trailers. Uh, one of the teasers of the four DC uh, films. I was expecting Hawkman to be. I was expecting his wings to be more feather like. Instead of metallic. So. But the special effects on them look good. And the CJ looks ex excellent though. I don't see Hawkeye's weapon though. Oh, maybe it's right here. Uh, that's just a guess. I'm not really sure. Alright. You got Ab Smasher, Cyclone, Dr. Fate, Pierce Brosnan, of course. And then, of course, uh, Hawkman, played by Eldest Hodge. And then, of course, Invulnerability. So, he realized, okay, that's, he's like, what the heck? And then, of course, he tries to hit him again. Next thing you know, he's thrown... I don't know how many feet in the air, but that looks like a long. Look like he's gonna be. Yeah, he's up there. Looks like uh. Yeah, he's very high in the air. So right there. Don't know. You know, I don't know how the farther out he landed, but she just threw him out. Shoot. Luckily, luckily, he's lucky and throw him out in space. That really would have sucked. So yep, this fall. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, Regina, if you're watching this, I'm taking you to see this movie. No exceptions. All right, now we now that we got that out of the way, let's continue. Sorry, something was something in my eye. Don't look like an eyelid or something. Anyway, so yeah, this comes out in October, and this is a. Like, you know, Cyclone, um, Cyclone, Hawkman, Adam Smasher, and, and um, Dr. Fate. They're, they're the Justice League of Society. So, sorry. The Justice, uh, Justice Society of America. So, JSA. So, yeah, the Justice, yeah, the Justice Society of America. So, J Justice League, so... So yeah, because you got the Justice League and you have the Justice Society of America. So that's who this group is. But I think that the Justice Society of America and the Justice League are going to cross paths at some point. So look forward to that. Now that uh, now that Warner Brothers and Discovery have merged, now they want to be. Um, now they want to. Become, become competition with Marvel Studios and Disney. But right now, Marvel Studios and Disney is too hot right now. Along with Sony. With their Tom Holland Spider-Man. But, um... I would say that... You know, with, the, with their merger... They could probably do a lot more... Than what Snyder would have done. Now, no offense to the Snyder fans... But his direction was not the way to go. You know, relying on six people to, to save the world against Darkseid and his legion. When you need everybody on board. The Atlanteans, the Green Lantern Corps, the Amazonians, the Justice League, the Super... Uh, sorry, the Bat Family, the Justice League, uh, the you know, the JSA, just, just the Justice Society of America. Um, and of course, let's not forget uh, the Justice League Dark. 
them cats. So yeah, and, and of course, let's not forget the Suicide Squad. So yeah, they need all the help they can. The Just League needs all the help they can get in order to take down Dark Side and his uh, Legion. So that's a lot of people. But Zack Snyder wouldn't have gone down that route. But now that we have the now that there's um, Warner Brothers and Discovery merger, that could probably happen, and they could probably do more and get these. You know, bring these characters to life. You know, because I've been wanting to—I've been waiting to see you know Swamp Thing and CGI for like a long time. So, um, it looks like it's going to happen now. You know, and of course, the Flash movie is supposed to undo Snyder's work and do a reset since it, since it's the movie's based off of the Flashpoint movie anyway. So that helps. And of course, um, Dwayne Johnson wants to fight Henry Cavill's Superman. No one else. No recasting, he will not accept that. So, and of course, last I heard, Henry Cavill was in the in renegotiation for a new Superman contract. So, we look forward to you know. Like I said, fans have spoken. They want Henry Cavill as Superman, and they want him to take on Dark Black Adam. It just won't be a Snyderverse though. But as long as they keep the theme song and keep a suit, I'm good. Anyway, um, so yeah. I like this part right here. He's just flying in the air. And here comes the jets. The pilot, and he's looking like, what do you want? The pilot's telling him to land. And of course, he just slaps the wing. I was like, what the heck? So, the question is, who's going to be the main antagonist, though? That's one thing I don't know. But I guess we're going to wait until we see the second trailer. So, but looks good though. <laughs> they all rolling their windows up. Like that's gonna do any good. Then of course this guy shoots a missile, which I don't know what kind of missile it is, but obviously it did this to him. To where he's he's holding on to the doggone car window. So yeah. I mean, every 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 hero, every villain has a weakness, no matter how indestructible they are. So, but yep, let's. Uh... Yeah, I like this part right here. He was like, yeah, he was like, whatever. And I keep seeing more of her, so obviously she has a huge role to play in this film. But uh, this is a good start, you know, you know, bringing the Justice uh, Society of America to life with Cyclone, Doctor Fate, Hawkman, and Adam Smasher. So that's a start because Zack Snyder wouldn't have done that. So now you can, you know, you can have all these crossovers now that you know, uh, Warner Brothers and Discovery have merged. Um, so far, the special effects looks good. I like how they're, you know, they're not putting, they're not bringing too much action into it. They want to save the rest for last. Or, you know, they want to add more later on, but... So, uh, we've been waiting a long time for a Black Adam movie, so hopefully it'll be worth the wait. But, uh, let's see... Dwayne Johnson is an iconic superhero, or sorry, anti-villain, like Black Adam, is a dream come true. Because they, because nobody, nobody know, nobody knew who will be fit for that role. But you know, then everybody, everybody, in everybody else's mind, it was Dwayne Johnson. But now we're gonna see it after years, after years of. I don't know. Preparation. But uh COVID thing kinda messed everything out too though. And then this part right here. Wait, what the heck? And he just and he's just looking at it. <laughs> so but yeah, I mean it looks good so far, especially the CGI. You can't even tell it's fake. Um I like the costume designing. Looks excellent. 
Um, the only thing is that The Rock, you know, because he had like the pointy, the little pointy ear, LV ears, like, because Black Black Adam had like Vulcan looking ears, so he didn't, he doesn't have that in this one, so. I wouldn't say that they're true to the comics, but slightly true. And of course, they want to do the Injustice version of uh, Black Adam with the, you know, the bald, you know, since he's bald in the comics anyway, well, in, a, in the Injustice video game, I think. Or, you know, but I'm talking about the, not the Xbox or the PlayStation version, but more like the, um... I would say the app version. Because there, there were two different versions of Black Adam. So one of them was bald. So obviously they wanted to go down that route. So that's cool. Yeah. And he was uh, Jack, he was pretty much Jack for this role. So yeah. Special effects looks excellent. I like how. I like the dialogue. Um, I like how you know. Dr. Fate's giving him a choice. Like hey. I have a vision where you only you make two choices. You got to destroy this place, destroy this world, or protect it. So we'll see what he decides. And obviously he's gonna join the Shazam family since there are seven thrones, and but there were six of them guys. So obviously Black Adam's like the uh, seventh one. So I love to see that. You know Zach Levy versus Dwayne Johnson, and then later Henry Cavill versus. Uh, Dwayne Johnson. So, anyway, um, so far it's a good start. Yeah. Like, what the heck? And then, boom. Kind of wonder, like, how the heck? I don't know what, I don't know if these, I mean, it looks like real people instead of robots, but I like the explosions. That's cool. But, yeah, as far as, the plot's interesting. I like, and they picked the perfect cast for this movie, especially, you know, especially the Justice uh, Society of America. So, yeah, well, I got like a slight humor to it, but it's a, it, but it's interesting so far. It's a good start. This might be like the first. I wouldn't know. Oh, the first uh, billion dollar DC film of this year. And before I forget, the track that they use for this trailer is blazing. Yeah, sound like Jay Z. So, uh, so as soon as I'm done, you know, with this uh, video, I'm going to Shazam it. So, because that's a good track, pretty much. So, yeah. So this could keep Warner Brothers and DC Entertainment from scrapping the entire DCEU. So we'll see how good this movie does. But this looks like a billion dollar movie. So, all right, well, that's it. Until next time. I hope you enjoyed that trailer reaction. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, and notifications bell below so you'll receive notifications for upcoming videos like this and others as well. Until next time.